so now I'd like to introduce Hermione and Gianni to the stage. <laughs> Tommy, that was incredible. I feel, I feel set for life, and I hope we do all repeat that mantra each morning. That was amazing, thank you. Your future daughter is very lucky, but we are all so lucky to have you, so thank you for being here. Um, hi, everyone. Wow, the feeling in this room is so amazing. Um, I'm Hermione Hobie. I'm a novelist, journalist, um, creative writing professor, but most importantly, I am a mentor to this wonderful young woman standing beside me. Um, and when we met, you didn't believe my name. <laughs> I really didn't believe it was her real name. <laughs> it's oh, real, it's real. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, what can I say? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Johnny Guzman. I'm 16 years old and I'm a junior at Academy of American Studies. First of all, I wanna thank everyone here for supporting Girls Right Now and essentially supporting Hermione and I. Over the last three years, we both evolved a lot and have been a real support to each other at a time when women's rights are under attack from the government. It might feel like we're on a bit of a losing streak Last week was difficult for all of us believers and survivors. But at times like this, I truly believe we only get stronger. Too true. I love you too much. I want my hair. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In case you missed that, at times like this, we only get stronger. Yes. <laughs> um, and I was thinking about how we had scheduled one of our pair meetings for the morning after the election, mm -hmm. and how in that moment, you were more of a mentor to me than I was to you, I think. And I think that's something that often happens in these you know, mentor-mentee relationships. Um, and we've, we've changed a lot over the three years. Uh, three years ago, <laughs> I would not have been able to stand in front of so many people and be able to speak. I would have had some sort of physical attack, whether it's panic or mental. Um, but through Girls Right Now, I found my voice in every sense, both my literal voice and my voice as a writer. I've grown in confidence and in my convictions, and I know what it is to speak up and to speak out. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and I've, I've had so many proud moments watching you, but I think probably my, my proudest has been watching you read at the annual reading series that Girls Right Now does called Chapters. Are you saying you want me to read my piece? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Let's hear it, please. <laughs> um, so this chapter piece is about all the things that my family has taught me, even the things that they think that I'm not paying attention to, because they say that rather than learning from them, I'm learning from my phone. Uh, this piece is called What I Know. The fight. You know what I'm talking about. You must know, because you've always had to know. To know that everything you want will not be given to you without a fight. To know that no matter how numb you get, you must go on. Sim simply because that's what I was taught to do. Your parents' experiences. You know what I'm talking about. You must know, because you've always had to know. To know you should be proud of your generation, even for its faults. To know that it has faults that don't have to define it or define you. Me. I don't think you could know, because I'm still learning to know myself. What I knew about myself yesterday doesn't apply to what I know right now. They taught me to hold my head up high, to be strong and feminine, and that it can mean the same thing. To know that I will never be alone, but that it's okay to be. To know who I become, who I am, can only depend on myself. To know how to find my place or create my own. <laughs> 